Welcome back to part three of the book Prudence from Peru. We finally learned what type of animal Prudence is. Prudence is an alpaca. Can you say alpaca? Alpaca. And where is Prudence from? The country of Peru. Now let's read more in this story. Mom got a bowl of pellets. Pellets. Do you know this word? Pellets are round shaped something. In this story, they are food pellets. Food pellets. Small little rounded shaped pieces of food. Maybe your candy. You eat candy pellets. There are many different kinds of pellets in the world. In this story, food pellets. She showed the children how to feed the alpacas. Feed means to give food. Your mom and dad feed you. My mom and dad feed me. They give me food. So here are the pellets, the food pellets, right there. And they're holding the bowl to feed the alpaca. Look how happy the baby is, smiling. In this pail, we can see more food pellets. Everybody is very happy now. Mother alpaca likes the pellets, said Kelly. She's eating them and she's smiling. Of course she's happy. Prudence is sniffing my hair. Sniffing. You can sniff too. Making that noise, smelling very quickly like this. So Prudence is smelling his hair. Why? I don't know. It smells different. And Joe laughed. This is Joe and this is Kelly. Let's read the next page. That night, the children found out more about alpacas. They found out more. They learned. You are finding out more now. You are learning. How did they learn more? From the computer. You can find a lot of information about many things using your computer. You can look on the internet. You can read their alpaca notes. You can see a alpaca there. So they are learning more about this animal. It's the first time they have seen an alpaca. Remember the book Atlas? It's right here. <clears throat> what kind of book is an atlas? It's a book that has many maps. Let's learn more on the next page. Here we have alpaca notes. These are the notes that Joe and Kelly wrote for us to learn. Alpacas come from the mountains of Peru. The mountains. The mountains. Very big mountains. They live in the mountains. It is cold there. Is it cold where you live? Maybe sometimes. The higher we go, the colder it gets. 
Maybe that's why alpacas have long coats. They have long fur to keep them warm. You can see the clothing of these two people. This is traditional clothing for the people who live in Peru. Maybe it's like a humbuck for you. And we can see here is Peru in South America. If you live in Korea, you live over here. Very, very far, very far away from you. Let's learn more about alpacas. Let's read this together. Alpacas have long, woolly coats that keep them warm. Long, not short, and woolly. Wool is the type of fur that comes from this animal. We can call it wool. It's the same type of fur that comes from a sheep. And we use the wool of this animal to make many different things. This fur or this coat keeps the alpaca very warm. Why? Because it's cold on the mountains where they live. Let's read some more. Let's read together. Alpacas are good farm animals. This means they like to live on the farm. They don't have to be in the wild. Now, they eat grass and alpaca pellets. Do you eat grass? No, I don't. Do you know another animal in the story that eats grass? Chickens? No. Dogs? No. Give you a hint. Mm. Very good. Cows eat grass. And they eat alpaca pellets. An alpaca eats alpaca pellets. If you remember, a pellet is a small round piece of food. So this is a small round piece of food made for alpacas. Not for me, not for you, not for cows, just what alpacas like. Farmers shear alpacas for their soft wool. Shear. This farmer is shearing this alpaca, cutting off. It doesn't hurt the alpaca. They cut off their fur, they cut off their coat to do what? The wool is made into soft, warm cloth. We can make clothing, a shirt, a scarf, a sweater, just like with a sheep. So maybe in the summertime, the alpaca is very happy to have their wool cut off, sheared, because they will feel cooler. Okay, you can see the farmer cutting the wool off in this picture. Okay, let's go over a few words that we learned in the story. Humming. Humming is making this noise. <laughs> that is humming. Now remember, the baby was making that noise because the baby, or Prudence, was scared. <laughs> You can hum too. <laughs> you can try now. The next word is pellets. Pellets, small round pieces of food. Peru. Peru is a country. Peru is a country where? Which continent? North America? No. Europe? No. Peru is in South America. 
and wool. Wool is the type of fur that alpacas have. And we use this to make warm clothing for us, for me and you. A note from the author of this story. Are you ready? Do you have your reading glasses on? Let's read together. On our farm, we have 30 alpacas. So maybe this is the author of this story. And on the farm, they have 30, 30 alpacas. That's a lot. They are beautiful animals, beautiful. This has many different meanings. Maybe the way they look, they look very beautiful, but also the way they behave, the way they act. Beautiful can have many different meanings. They are sweet and gentle. They are sweet and gentle. We are describing how they act. They are very kind. They are not ferocious, like a bear or a tiger. They are kind and gentle. You can pet them. You can touch them. It's okay. But be careful because they are animals. We don't know what they can do. They like the other animals. Alpacas like friends. I love to have friends. Do you like friends? Maybe we can be friends with an alpaca. Alpacas are very nosy. Nosy. Hmm. What does that mean? They like to know what is going on. They are very interested in everything around them. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? The alpacas want to know everything. Are you nosy? Sometimes? Sometimes I am nosy. I want to know what everybody is doing. Well, that's it for this story of Prudence from Peru. We were able to learn about alpacas, how they act, what they look like, and where they're from. I hope you enjoyed learning about alpacas. I'll see you in the next book. Goodbye!